Imagine if you were Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in 2005, Ellen Johnson, newly elected president of Liberia. More than 20 years of coups and civil wars had ravaged the country. Its people were among the poorest in the world, and the country itself faced crippling debts that the international community demanded be paid. Your challenge, to rebuild Liberia's shattered infrastructure, convince the rest of the world to lift sanctions against Liberia, and keep the support of the people. <laughs> Liberia had looked for a president who could help bring the nation together. The country was weary of suffering at the hands of men. She pledged to address those root causes of conflict and division, such as poverty and exclusion. A former banker, she put her skills to work and got help from the U.S. and the international community. By 2010, Liberia's debts were erased. She moved to ease the tensions at the root of the civil wars, creating a Truth and Reconciliation Committee to heal ethnic tensions and launched an effort to attack corruption at all levels of society. She put government funds into building or renovating hundreds of markets across Liberia where the so-called market women could sell their wares. She created a foundation to educate market women and support girls' education. Her Liberian Action Plan on Women, Peace and Security strove to bring about women's full participation in Liberia's recovery, reconstruction and governance. She opened Liberia's police and army to women and implemented one of the most comprehensive anti-rape laws in Africa. She established a fast-track court to deal with gender-based violence. She inspired a generation. The world also took notice. In 2011, she was honored for her work as a recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize for her efforts to bolster women's rights and establish peace. And soon after, she was re-elected as president. But during her second term, she faced an unknowable challenge, a deadly epidemic of Ebola. Liberians panicked. Scientists predicted more than one million would die there. She mobilized an international effort for relief, research, and treatment of the sick. The hospitals, public health workers, and soldiers needed to combat Ebola in Liberia and calm the people. Although more than 4,000 Liberians died of the disease, within two years, Ebola was largely eradicated in Liberia, thanks to their work. Some leaders might have used the epidemic as an excuse to break the Constitution and run for a third term. Instead, she did something that hadn't been done in Liberia in seven decades, oversee the peaceful transfer of power to another elected leader. On a continent where leaders don't have a history of departing democratically, Johnson Sirleaf stands out in her commitment to electoral integrity. For her dedication to democracy and human rights, IFES honors former President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia with the Charles T. Manat Democracy Award.